Hi guys. I hope you all are doing good and taking good care of yourselves. Today I thought that I will share with you a video in which I can let you know how one can go about adjusting the settings or playing around with the settings to adjust the date, year and time in your blood sugar monitoring machine. Uh, the model which I have right now with me is Dr. Mopen's Gluco 1 blood glucose monitoring system. Now it also says that it has a capacity of storing 300 readings I believe 300 memory it says large memory now to ensure that we are making the best use of this feature it's very important that we set the date and time correctly on this machine so that whenever we need to go back and check our readings we will know on which day we had done the last monitoring or whenever or what our readings were in the previous times and how uh, things have been for us over a period of time in terms of the readings. So I will go ahead and show you how one can go about doing that. Uh, yeah, is this is your this is your uh, monitor wherein you you put in a strip over here. Now it typically wouldn't come on like that but for this purpose what one can do is you see this M and C buttons over here there's an M button over here I'm not very sure if you're able to see it in the video and there is an S button or C button over here you need to keep this M button pressed for a little longer it shows you this and then it shows you set S E T and you see 5 is blinking now the 5 is your month now if I want to change that, I will go ahead and hit the C button. The moment I hit the C button, it will change to 6th month. And then I can go about keep changing this. I can keep hitting the button, the C button and I can adjust this. And it has come back to the 5th month. Now you notice that the date which, which was 31st has changed to 29th. Now that is because we passed the 2nd month which is February. So to adjust that, I will hit the M button again and I will start hitting the C button to adjust the date that is the day 30th and the first and it has gotten adjusted now I will hit the M button again and it will show me if I want a 12 hour format or a 24 hour format now if I hit C it will change to 24 hours you see this it changes to 24 hours but I want a 12 hour format wherein it it's easier for us Indians to know uh, what the time is. So I've kept it as the 12 hour format. I hit the M button again. It will take me to the time wherein I can adjust the R right now. So I can just hit the C button and go about changing the R. You see that? So I passed the AM. Now this is AM right now. I need to take it to PM. Yeah, there you go. Let's change the R. Now I will go about with changing the minutes. Now it says 58 minutes right now, which actually is the correct time, but I will still play around and show you. If I keep it pressed, it changes, it goes fast. If I keep it pressed hard, it changes automatically and it goes really fast instead of just hitting these clicks again and again I can do that now since I come closer I will go and it's 57 right now and I will I keep that adjusted and hit the M button and this I believe is setting your glucometer with a preset which I'm not going to play around with or disturb right now and I'm going to hit M again and it says set now everything is set. Now you can also play around with the units which is mg slash dl. Now that is the measuring unit I believe for your blood sugar. So I'm going to not again play around with it and I'm just going to 
leave it the way it is because it will go off see the beep is on again you can uh, if you hit m again it also gives you an option to uh, switch on and off the beep the whenever you are reading on the machine is completed it will give you a beep i don't want to again play, play around with that and i hit m again and if i want to delete any of my previous readings i can do that by coming over here and i don't want to play around again with that what i will do is i will hit this and i will come back to set and again it's setting in set the month which i'm not going to play around and i'm just going to leave it leave it the way it is and put it back in the box because it will automatically go off so this is how you would go about adjusting your time and date on your blood uh, glucose monitoring system which is this particular model right now that i have and i believe it's similar on your other models as well so you may want to play around with that if you have that uh, if you have an, any other model so yes uh, it is extremely important that one does set the date and time as i mentioned earlier so that one can make the best uh, use of the memory feature so that one can know when the measurings and the readings were done so yes as much as i hope that this video is helpful for you i also hope and pray that uh, most of us don't need or all of us should not have the need to use these equipments because to for the need for using these equip equipments is one not feeling well or one having an ailment so i really hope that all of us are taking good care and we don't develop or we don't have any ailments and if you have we get well soon and take care of take care of ourselves so that was my video about adjusting the date and time if you like it do hit the like button and subscribe and take care of yourselves till the next time i come back with another video if you have any questions please feel free to write in the comment section and i will try and answer as much as i can understand so thank you so much guys and take care of yourselves goodbye